they've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a great game with the Tromp, and it's also a, a good uh, look at the tactics, look at the ship. Is it good? Is it healthy? Is it toxic? And we're going to answer that questions. And if you have any questions below or about the video, make sure you post it below in the comments. But and, uh, hey, again, before we begin, thank you guys for uh, helping us get to the, the channel to where it's at. It, we're, we passed a thousand subscribers, and that was one of my goals when I first began the channel. I can't thank you guys enough. I know I've already done a video about thanking, but hey, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to show appreciation where appreciations do. And again, we're on our next goal is 1,100 subscribers, and we're growing pretty quickly. And I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, the community is growing. Uh, people are, are starting to voice up opinions better and also communicate better as well as use tactics and use the lessons we learned here today to make the not only yourself better but the game better as well as the community a better place uh, as a whole. But anyways, let's get right to it. The Tromp. It is a tier 10 Dutch destroyer. Again, I'm a DD main, so I like to focus on the de destroyer tactics and uh, a lot of the destroyers that are coming out, the new ones, the old ones, uh, just looking at it back and, and looking at the future of what this role is, what it's gonna become, what can we do to get better and how to use a lot is utilize it properly. And the Trump the, uh, does a, a pretty good job of it. The Trump really is, I would say, uh, a unique uh, play style of destroyer. I, that's why I titled the video, Is It Healthy or Is It Toxic? Because it's kind of iffy. I'm kind of uh, half and half on what this thing really is, and we'll talk about it as you can when we start playing the game and how we utilize this destroyer in games. And now we're playing Airship Escort, that, that mode right now, and you can see that this thing is super powerful in this mode so right off the bat you can see the maneuver the maneuvering where we're going i didn't elect to go with the main body and follow the airship because i looked at the path on the mini map it's eventually gonna get to where i am so I, i'm not really a gunboat i'm sorry a uh, i would say brawler of a uh, destroyer i mean it does it is very powerful and uh, we'll talk about the stats of it in a minute but like just, here, here's the gimmick right here this is the one gimmick for the ship and that is the airstrikes you have Two sets of airstrikes you can use once they fully recharge of 12 planes uh, per flight, uh, I believe. It's, uh, oh my goodness, look at, look at the amount of damage right there. The pen, it pens about 20, 20 uh, millimeters, those bombs. You have six plane with 12 planes per flight. Uh, I'm sorry, six bombs per plane, and there's 12 planes uh, in the whole uh, squadron itself, which is ridiculous. 12 times six, you're talking about 72 bombs, uh, and that's two flights of those things insane that's why that's very controversial right there i mean a destroyer that can start doing airstrikes i mean you're talking you're starting to introduce cvs when the cvs aren't even in the game in a sense because you have a dd that's launching airplanes right so i think it's kind of weird interesting toxic healthy you let me know what you think below is this something that the game needs as more airplanes and there we go splash one rp back to Puerto. we took down a gk oh my gosh in a destroyer right off the bat 41,000 damage we did in the first five, four minutes of the game and that right there is enough to spark uh, a little conversation about everything but uh the the other aspects of this ship it's got decent maneuverability the hp pool is ridiculous look at it, it's 28,000 i'm starting to see a trend here you're starting to see in destroyers getting about the 28,000 30,000 36,000 kind of range which is interesting to say the least uh the guns are very powerful they are 100 and almost like club air kind of style guns i forgot the the, the caliber let me look it up right here for you guys 
The caliber of the guns is three 150 millimeter guns at 1030 millimeters of armor damage. That is insane. And you can see how I built it for the uh, the gunboat roll. Uh, and it shoots really fast, fearless brawler, everything on there. I think it's a great gunboat DD from distance. Up close, maybe questionable. I mean, this thing has a decent reload rate, but I don't know. I mean, if I haven't really gone toe to toe with a lot of uh, dis destroyers out there, maybe in clan battles I have, but to take it out in the open market and play these bigger games, it's uh, it's okay. I haven't really seen it. I mean, it's it's okay. It could handle it on its own, but it's got to conserve its HP. It's got to run away. Notice how it doesn't have any smoke screens. One of the downsides of that the aspect, but it's got the torps, which are just you know three torpedoes on each side. Okay, not really a torp boat, more of a gunboat and more of a airstrike roll. Now, the range of the airstrikes is only 10 kilometers. So, if you're going up against, uh, in clan battles, I, we went up against uh, Soviet cruisers where they literally have 12, you know, Soviet cruisers about 12, 12 and a half kilometer radar. It really doesn't work as well because as soon as they get spotted, they, they want to see where this tromp is at. They just pop the radar, boom, you're revealed, and you're starting to take shots. Acceleration is okay. Maneuverability, like I said, is okay. It's not the greatest or the fastest DD out there, but it does what it has to do. Now, here are the torps right here. Shooting one down the channel. There are the three torps right there. Not overwhelming, not so, you know, glamorous, but hey, torpedoes are torpedoes. The guns are really what I think sells it, and then the gimmick, of course, is the airstrikes. Now, the airstrikes, if you build for it, can reload in less than a minute, which is decent, which, and if you, that's what you're planning on doing, it does satisfy the role. I think the airstrikes do give it the its, I, I guess you could say, play style, and it's bread and butter, because that's really all this is. It's just a scouting airship thing, and it's got guns uh, for defense if it needs to, and if it needs to burn down, which we'll see in a bit. But uh, the Trump, let, let me know your thoughts about it. Is this something healthy or toxic for the game? I don't know because I, I, I do like the guns. That's exactly why I built for it. I like the guns because they're 150 millimeters, kind of Kleber style kind of guns, and they pen 30 millimeters, which is great. And I wanted to go around, you know, DD gunboating like this. So we're going to hunt down the other Tromp. And we're going to go duke it out like one-on-one. -on -one. You're, you're going to probably get to see a, a gun battle here. Notice how the airship is moving along with us. We're doing our best our can. We're staying on our side. We're being conservative. Again, the tactic here is pretty simple. Our team's kind of you know, romple stomping over the entire team on the left side there. But let's see if we can display ourselves. We're our, alone over here on the eastern side. Let's see if we can go. You know, I wouldn't normally do this. But since our team's about to win anyways, why not? I'm going to go rush the, uh, the eastern flank. And, uh, again, it's got the speed boost. It gives it a decent amount of speed. You can see we can get it up to 40 knots. The HP is what I really like. You come, starting with 28,000, really great, but it doesn't have any hills, so you got to use it very – you have to really protect this thing, kind of like the um, European DDs. Now, here we go. We're going to go ahead and engage. His guns are facing the other direction, which means I know it has slow tr turret traverse, so it's going to take its time some guns all while I'm shooting them and knocking out 3,000 damage per salvo. Look at this. Boom, taking out his torpedo tubes. Look at the guns. The guns, the arcs are decent. The the reload's decent. You're getting about three and a, three and a change second reload, which is all I need, really, with this amount of firepower. The alpha damage is pretty good. The, the pen is good. And look, we're just withering away this Tromp, and he has he can't really do much. I mean, he has no smoke. The counter tactic is just to turn away. He elected to turn in. I don't think you should duke it out. Uh, the gun turret angles are okay. And then here we go. Oh, splash two RP back to 40. Again. He takes about half my damage. I take about majority of his. Eh, it's a clean exchange. Let me know your thoughts about that engagement. Again, counter tactic to that was really the Trump should have just turned away, kited away, and and ran because otherwise you don't have smoke. You don't have any other defensive maneuvers. Uh, your boost, engine speed boost little doesn't have time to do anything. And look at that airstrike right there. Look at the amount of bombs. You know, 12 planes in a flight with six bombs each per plane. That I mean, look at the amount of just insanity that's unleashed on the Yamato right there. I don't think Yamato's having a good day, but... And here, here's a demonstration of the guns. The guns is really what... I mean, this is the tactic you do in the DDs right here, where you're just slowly kiting away. You can throttle juke. Now, I have to say, it throttle jukes really well. I mean, that is literally going reverse, forward, reverse, forward. That's a tactic to do in the style of gunboat DDing, and it does a really good job of that. Uh, we're getting some decent pins. Again, 30 millimeter pin. Really good. I like that. Again, pros. The guns are great. Uh... But if you had to go against a secondary battleship, not very good. I don't think I recommend it in Splash 3. RP back to 40, and that is the game. Three kills on a Tromp, and uh, let me know your thoughts about it. I, is it healthy or toxic? I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to start the discussion about it. Is this where the right way of where Wargaming is going? Um, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, try it out. It's uh, in the Armory, and uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, and I hope you guys are having a great one. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Cheers.